Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in this video we have two very special cars. One is the M Performance BMW which is the M340i having the B58 engine. And yes, here we have the M Power BMW which is the M4 having the S58 engine. And in today's video it is going to be a technical discussion on the similarities, differences and the part sharings of these two engines. So now we have both the cars hood popped up. Let's discuss the specifications of these two cars. Starting off with the B58. So this is the B58 technical update version and uh, another name is the B58D. Whereas this is the S58 which uh, there are two tunes available in the S58. There is a 480 horsepower and a 510 horsepower. This being a competition spec, it is 510 horsepower. The S58 is found in many other cars like uh, the M3, this is the M4, then there is the X3M, there is the X4M. So the differences between the two, well most of us are aware that the S58 is based on this M Performance B58 which is in the M340i. But you will be surprised to know that there is only 10% of similarity, 10% of part sharing in the S58 which has been carried over from the B58. 90% is new or adapted or modified for additional power and the proper M treatment. And in this video, we're going to elaborate more on that. Starting off with the similarities. So the chain drive is the same for both these engines. Point number two, the intake valves are the same. So there is a bit of a difference in the material selection of the intake valves, but yes, the intake valves are the same. Point number three, the DME is the same for both these cars. Just the software is uh, the different for the higher tune of the S58, but yes, the DME is the same. The next point is the fuel injectors are exactly the same for both these engines. And finally, the fifth point, which is the last similarity between these two engines, is that the concept of Vanos is the same and has been carried over and adapted for the S58. Now, the differences. I would like to mention the two major differences which uh, distinguish and differentiate the S58 versus the B58. Point number one is the S58 uses two turbochargers versus a single twin scroll turbo for the B58. So this is where uh, the S58 makes uh, the bulk of its power. Point number two, the S58 uses two air ducts versus only a single air duct for the P58. Now let's just understand the minor differences, the upgrades and uh, the part changes involved in the S58 which distinguish itself from its uh, originating engine, the P58. The S58 gets a new cylinder head gasket and cover which is adapted to the high combustion pressure fuel pumps. It does get a new crankcase as well which has been adapted uh, for two turbochargers. It does get a lightweight forged crankshaft and it does get forged pistons as well. The B58 does not have forged pistons. A higher pressure fuel pump pumping uh, double the pressure versus the B58. It gets a new spark plug independent of what are being used on uh, the B58. A new exhaust system and for all this extra power it does also get a new coolant pump which is a mechanical one and it gets uh, double heat exchangers. So, now that the hoods are down, if I had to distinguish both these cars, I would like to compare them to two bodybuilders. So one is out here, it's a natural, it's uh, just surviving on a protein shake, whereas this, the S58 is the one on steroids. And now it is time to take this car for a drive.
narrative around the M3, M4, the G82, G80 cars have been around the way they look, the front nose. But in all of this, one should not forget how great they drive, how great they feel. I have driven the M4 on a couple of occasions and really had the opportunity to go wide open throttle. In this video, we are not going to do all of that. In this video, we are going to see how the M4 blends in in proper normal city road uh, and uh, you know mild highway conditions. And uh, we are going to chill out a bit so that we understand the engine's personality and the adaptability for every situation. So the S58 feels more eager uh, than the B58. There is uh, more torque down under which can be felt uh, pretty easily and uh, <laughs> it is surely brisk. Not a, not a night and day difference when you are driving it normally versus the B58 but yes more amounts of torque available uh, in the low RPM as well as in the mid RPM as we are speaking about the RPMs uh, let us uh, talk about the red lines of both these cars because uh, the S58 tops out at 7500 RPM like a proper M car Whereas the B58 in my M340i tops out at only 7000 RPM. So that is again yet another difference uh, which had to be highlighted between these two engines. This is a different beast for sure. And that extra 120, 130 odd horsepower can be felt. This does get a different exhaust setup as well as a different uh, uh, sounding exhaust. I personally feel that uh, my B58 with an M performance exhaust sounds better than the M4 stock. There are a couple of reasons. Majorly that uh, this is having an OPF. My version never had an OPF. And uh, with the M performance exhaust, it really, really enhances the overall uh, involvement, driver involvement and uh, the sounds. It has its own character. As soon as you go and OPF delete in this, this is going to be very good. It may need an exhaust in the future, I'm not sure. No. But surely there are some fake sounds being pumped up uh, through the speakers. I'm not complaining because it's really well implemented and uh, we need to accept. We need to accept this uh, BMW active sound design as a great feature. And anyway, if you don't like it, there is always a button which you can switch it off. But it has been tuned well and I really enjoy it. So this is again another feature which has been implemented better. The active sound design is better in the M4 versus the active sound design of the M340 B58. So to conclude things, it would be fair to say that the B58 is the pinnacle of uh, six cylinder technology for non-M cars and the S58 is currently the pinnacle of the six cylinder technology for the full M cars and the motorsport version of the B58 is the S58. So that is the best way to summarize these two engines and on that note thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.